think Mike Zimmer brought up bringing in extra special teams drills or sessions in, in these past few practices. What does that look like for you, and where can you get that extra work in? You know, it's not uh, necessarily that, you know, extra dream. I mean, he's, he is bringing a lot of extra drills and like live reps with like what you're I think you're talking about. And it's been great for our team because we're actually seeing these guys actually play full reps. I mean, we've been doing a lot of drills to build up to that and get a foundation. Uh, that's been all the that's been the plan the whole time. And now it's time to see those guys cut it loose so we can get a proper evaluation of these guys. And and I think that's what coach has been doing. He's doing a great job with that, allowing us to go ahead and allow them to go play football now. And uh, after that foundation has been laid. We'll start with her for oh, up. Um, the last few years, the receivers like down the depth chart yep. have always had a special a role on special teams. Um, what do you anticipate? Like, where can younger receivers try to affect the game the most? Like on the return game, is it on punt, is it on kickoff? Where do they fit the best? You know, I mean, that's a great question. I think at this level, though, um, you know, a lot of these receivers don't play special teams at the college level. You know, so right now. Uh, they got to find to be the best football player and find out how they can create value. And uh, that's the most important thing. Um, I don't see them as wide receivers, running backs, linebackers. I just see how can they help our football team win football games and uh, what can we do to put them in a position to be successful now in terms of receivers. And I mean, they, they got to be able to play all positions. If it's a returner, if they got that value to hold ups, to blocking. I mean, they got to be able to become a full football player as we see it. You know, you know um, like we just mentioned in terms of, you know, some of these college guys coming in here, haven't played many special teams or much special teams as they come here. So it's still somewhat fresh to him a little bit, it's still a little bit new, but he's doing a, a great job just trying to embrace the role. And, um, you know, everything we throw at him, he's uh, been very positive and he's willing to do it and he wants to do it and he wants to help this team in any way he can. And, and that's all I can ask for right now as a, as a young guy or a wide receiver that or any position that's never played. If, they're just the willing to come out here to help the team and, and get better every day. Ryan, keep, keep, keep. I was uh, Ryan with Patterson looking after coming back from the top list and as a competition worker. You know, he's, uh, he's making strides, so it's encouraging for him to be here. i um, glad he's able to get practicing. We saw him kick at U.S. Bank Stadium, and, um, you know, he made his kicks, and uh, now we just got to go ahead and continue to build on that and just keep putting good days together back to back. But uh, it'll be a good uh, challenge here coming up and a nice competition as we go ahead and uh, move forward in camp. Ryan, can you speak to Dan Chisena's speed and how that enabled him to, to make the roster last year and, and how it can, you know, keep propelling him forward? Well, I mean, obviously speed, I mean, that's that's something that we can't coach. I mean, you can run. You, I mean, you have value, obviously. And uh, he did a lot of other good things besides just the speed. Uh, he's still learning in terms of the situations, uh, you know, that the nuances that come along with special teams. But he's doing a great job. And every opportunity that he has right now, I mean, he's been making the most out of it. And we've been uh, very pleased with what he's been doing. But, um, you know, every year uh, stands on its own merit. So we got to make sure uh, we continue to move forward and uh, get better every week and every day. I mean, uh, definitely. I mean, that's uh, it's great to have a guy like Adam Thielen. I and mean, we kind of spoke with it with the core guys uh, the other day in terms of where he came from. He was a uh, you know tryout, essentially a, t a rookie tryout guy, and came in and um, was on practice squad, won a, sp a spot there, then became on uh, special teams, did a great job in special teams, and that set up the foundation for him to go ahead and moving forward and having the success that he is right now on offense. So it just gave him an opportunity to go ahead and make a football team and uh, carry that over into his offensive play. And he, he'll be the first one to admit that. And uh, he spoke to our guys about it bef uh, before, and he does it you know, regularly. So um, it's de definitely uh, something special and something that we can continue to build on. You, you know, it's, uh, we're always uh, trying to work that and trying to kind of help facilitate that a little bit and bring that out and uh, put guys in situations to become those leaders. Um, you know, some guys offhand in terms of just say like a, a Josh Mattel, she's doing a great job. The, the CJ Hams, I mean, he's, they're really taking ownership as making this their team in terms of special teams and, and putting their own stamp on it because it's not about us as coaches, it's about these players and what we can get out of them and, um, you know, make sure that we can put them in a position to be successful on the field to help our team. Yeah, they, they know. Um, you know, they, they did have, they've had conversations. I mean, he's talked to them. Um, you know, I won't say exactly, you know, when and where, but he's talked to them and he's 
he's mentioned about you know the importance of special teams and they get it i mean i've showed clips of, with them and um they understand the, the role with this and uh, coach zimmer's done a great job in terms of in implementing that and making it important too and he's been you know pounding on the table about it and making sure that we you know this is a phase that we got to go ahead and uh, improve on Uh, I mean, it's it's there's a lot of things with Josh. I mean, a lot of it's just his uh, his demeanor and the way he takes command and control uh, of the team. And, um, you know, it's also another year under his belt a little bit. And so he's a little bit more comfortable in his play. And uh, he's been doing a lot of good things and just taking kind of that leadership role that you guys have mentioned, um, you know, earlier. But um, he's taking that, that command in terms of all the four phases. You know, uh, it, I think it's going to be on a situation that we'll talk about with Coach on that uh, when we sit down after practices this week and uh, we'll evaluate where we are. Um, haven't had that conversation quite yet, but uh, there is a plan that's going to be uh, that we'll have and we'll be ready to execute it on Saturday. Are there guys, the two kickers, have they, have they gone down more frequently to U.S. Bank Stadium during the week, or is that something now as a game of coaches you'll know where Yeah, we'll gradually get to that point. Um, you know, that is the plan to do that at some point. I mean, we were just there on Saturday, but this week is more important right now. It's still about us, you know, trying to get better uh, as a unit in terms of we've got this competition uh, with Denver coming in with these uh, inter-squad scrimmages and practices. So uh, right now we're just focused on getting better today with these uh, kicks. They saw the stadium um, on Saturday, but uh, in the future, uh, that would be part of the plan. But right now, right now, we just want to make sure we focus on uh, being with the team and getting better here. I think you put a lot of weight, not just on just the preseason games, but it's in every situation. It's in the meetings, it's in the walkthroughs, it's in practices every day. So, I mean, there's a lot of emphasis and that goes along with it in terms of evaluating these guys uh, on uh, as a returner. However, we need to see how they are situationally um, in each situation in terms of as a returner, how they go ahead and uh, handle those situations. Um, so ev everything goes into it, uh, you know, as opposed to just the uh, the game, but it also depends on how many returns you, you get in a, in a given game and how we can go ahead and balance on, on the rotation, but um, a, a lot of value on it. With, with the punt return spot, I know it's so rare to have a guy like Marcus that you had for years, but why has it been so hard to find and kind of pin down that spot the past couple of years? I mean, it's, I think we got the right guys on the roster right now to go ahead and uh, to solidify that, And but I think this uh, preseason is going to go ahead and uh, really, I think, give us the answers for that and what we're looking for. And it, it is a unique position, like we mentioned last time, but, um, you know, it's different. And it uh, takes a little bit of, you know, calm collect, uh, being calm and collected back there as a returner and uh, just really taking command of the situation and, uh, and uh, making sure you're using your technique. What goes into your process for evaluating long snappers? Oh, that's, I mean, first, I mean, you got to make sure you got, you can snap the ball. That's the first and most important uh, job is snapping the ball uh, with great velocity and accuracy. And then we got to make sure they can go ahead and protect, but understand the protections and, and how the, the scheme of uh, rushes are um, affecting us. But you got to snap the ball. That's the first and foremost. Last question, Coach Pick. And Ryan, what are the big things you hope to get out of the next two days here when your, your guys are able to go against somebody else? You, you know, the biggest thing that we're looking to achieve, I think, is just making sure we're, one, we're playing fast with a sense of urgency. Um, we're assignment sound, playing great with our technique, our fundamentals, and making sure we're playing penalty-free football and helping our, fo our football team flip the field and uh, win the game. So that's the biggest objective that we're looking at and then being able to evaluate all these guys as a whole so we can go ahead and uh, make the decision uh, in a few weeks here coming up.